welcome back to my channel ambola also known as strictly dishes so if this is the first time you're coming across this channel then you have found well please click on the subscribe button and to all my amazing subscribers i say thank you so so much i'm truly indebted to you and i say thank you on this channel just as i said i teach you how to cook like a pro and today i am going to be teaching you how to make owo yes where are my bini people, my Urobo people? Yes, yes, yes. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the one and only authentic Owo sauce. Sit back, let's do this together. Yes. So, 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 if you are from Edo, I'm sure you are conversant with this particular sauce. The first thing I'm going to do is to grind my tomato, pepper and more of onions and just put it into a pot and allow it to boil you see this particular oil sauce i'm dedicating it to my mom because she actually comes from a dose state and i'm also going to be adding some skill my dear oil is not complete without skill though. yes we shall eat the good of the land i'm also going to be adding some for mom i'm going to put in some seasoning to make sure that everything just cooks well you see i'm actually not making a very big pot of owo because owo is not something you can actually refrigerate or keep for me it's just cook and finish it uh yes at a sitting yes so how are you doing has work has family has business how's everything i know things are a bit tough but i one thing was sure is that god will definitely see us through the next thing i'm going to be adding to this particular owo sauce is bonga fish yes the more obstacles the better some people like to add some titus fish but for me i like to use dry ingredients for my uwu so based on your preference you choose the one that works for you i'm also going to come in with some dry fish yes ah dry fish is a must for uwu so that everything will just blend together i'm going to give that a step but do you know the most important thing or the most important ingredient for uwu it is actually potash yes also known as account that is what makes this particular thing that we eat yes that is what makes it the owo and everything and now it's time for i guess you didn't know owo is a traditional soup or sauce in native to the southeastern region of nigeria that's the benin people urobo delta ishekiri and we have different kind of owo. We have the Benin owo and we have the Urobo owo. The Benin owo is basically used for yam, all right, plantain, potatoes, and all of that. While the Urobo owo is used, is cooked as a soup. Yes. So I'll also be teaching you that in one of my videos. I don't know when. So just stick back and stick to this channel if you actually want to know how that is done as you can see i have added the account and that you know changes the color so one thing before you add your palm oil to your owo make sure that it is cold when i mean cold stone cold because if it is hot it is not going to i don't know how to say it it is not going to give you this owo color yes you can see it has to be very cold so when you finish cooking you can just put off your burner and go for about two or three hours or you put your pot in a cold bowl to allow it to just get cold and for this oil i love to have it with plant on ripe plantain and yam why do we use unripe plantain so that it just balances the sweetness because oro is actually very sweet so unripe plantain and the sweet oro just works perfectly together yes this me plating this food just brings back lots and lots of memories my mom loves owo a whole lot i think she likes it for breakfast yeah this i'll be bringing some of her favorite meals yes and you can see i'm just putting the unripe plantain and the yam and everything is just looking really nice yes and now you know you actually don't warm owo i don't know how people say they warm it it's not meant to be warm it's a cold sauce yes very cold and look at it it has set and i'm just going to put that in my plate so that i just dig in this is how you do it very very simple oh it's so it's so flavorful and super delicious do you know that when you're eating oh you would not even know the time you have finished a full tuba of yam yes i can say that with my full chest because it has actually happened to me oh is super super delish and you can see everything is really really thick and our oh is set and i have just 
manipulated this and this looks really lovely so when you make this for friends and family and they ask you where did you learn how to cook like a pro please give us the credit say strictly dishes taught me how to cook like a pro so i would like to know in the comment section is over one of the things you'll be trying out for your family please let me know so till next time i come your way i want you to do something for me i want you to eat healthy i want you to stay healthy i remain your girl strictly dishes saying bye -a.